Hey y'all, I'm back with another video, Seafood Bull. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what I forgot? My cucumbers. Give me a second, y'all. I'll be right back. Ah. Okay, I had my cucumbers in the fridge there, so I had to get up and get that. But um, I got me a bowl of de-shell seafood. I didn't go all out. I did the king crabs, the shrimp, and I got the cucumbers in the sauce. And I got some um, peach punch, Minute Maid peach punch. Y'all already know. In my Royal Caribbean cup. All right, let me say my prayers and let's start grubbing. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for blessing us to wake up this morning. Father God, I pray for all of those, all of us who are out here being affected by this virus families and loved ones who can't be with their loved ones father god i pray that you give them the strength to be strong and to continue to pray for their loved ones who are suffering viciously from this virus father god i pray for this meal that i'm about to receive from nursing in my body in your son christ jesus name i pray amen because this virus has really taken a toll on a lot of people you know i'm affected by it but i mean for the families who are like losing loved ones oh my god i know how it feels to lose loved ones so you know let me get some of this good stuff up mm. oh god that's yummy y'all i'm surprised anybody called me out on my um rice sauces and cucumber video or completely forgot the sauce completely forgot the sauce but I know a lot of people are focused on everything that's going on so that's not a big deal but oh no, my I cooked my hair oh no Thank God it's mine. Get out. But this is crazy, crazy. I'm trying to scoop up some sauce and some of this ginger, garlic on that king crab. I had pre already de shelled them. That's fat. Mmm. Much better, much, much better. For the first time I had got the king crabs, I was really trying to decide on whether I wanted to um, fry the meat, bread it and fry it, but that might be my next move. It's a deep fry, some king crabs. Mm. And I got the King crabs from the Super Colossal, I'm sorry. Super Colossal Crabs from Sam's Club. I had like three legs in there. And I got my Super Colossal Shrimp from, I ain't get me no bag. I know I'm off my bunkers. I got my Super Colossal Shrimp from Walmart. Which are like, I think it was $9.95, something like that. You can get your cucumbers if you're a fan of the cucumbers from Walmart, which is like two dollars. I think they were two twenty-five something. I'm trying to get a plate, excuse me. I'll put my stuff on. Mm. And I put my stuff in the um oven. So I deshell all of my crab meat and put it in the oven with the shrimp. Mm. Mm. I seasoned it and then I made it soft. Mm. We used to eat cucumbers. I'm sure everybody did. 
Put the onion. I mean, onion. I'm sorry. The salt, pepper, and vinegar. I'm talking about onions. Think about onions. Got some meat on there. Mm. That's good. Right. Try these with either some sauce or um with some ranch and some salt. Mm, 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 mm. I kid y'all not. I love these minis. I'm over here eating cucumbers. Got all this meat in this bone. I don't know why I made all of it. I'm not gonna eat it all. So the first time I purchased King Crab, the super colossal crab, King Crab, it wasn't very tasteful for me, the weather. And then I purchased the regular Alaskan King Crab from um, Publix. And that was even worse. I didn't like it. So, just go around. Yummy. Yummy. So, I, um, although they actually, I guess, put salt on it and packaged them, you can actually taste it this time. Mm. One too many big pieces, so. Yeah, I've seen the scooping up these little small pieces of meat. Broke up. Mmm. It's much better. Much, much better. Um, I hope everybody stands safe. Um, this is a serious tragedy, y'all. You know. God, that's good. Um... We are in some serious times right now, and we definitely need our prayer warriors. We do. Because this isn't the first, and it's not going to be the last. <laughs> Starting to feel full, and I barely ate today for a reason. This knuckle is huge. That's a lot of meat. <laughs> mm. Wow. I can't lie to y'all. My favorite crab is blue crabs. They just it's just the taste of them and it's so good and then I would say the Dungeness crabs and then snow crabs mm. I used to love the rock crabs or is it the stone? Yeah, rock crabs. I used to get those from our local um, Win Dixon. I used to tear them up. <laughs> I used to tear them up. Oh, 
it was so good. <laughs> That's a big daddy. But I'm glad some people are, you know, paying attention and listening to the social distancing. Um, unfortunately, it had to get this route for people to start being cleaner. Um, people should have been washing their hands and, you know, doing things that they're doing now. But part of the cloth. <laughs> so cute. Mm. That's good. Why the claws always have the best taste to them? Even on the lobsters. I prefer the lobster claws over the tail. It's so good. I've been trying to get that taste. But when you're eating blue crabs, you automatically... Like, you don't even be needing butter. You don't even be needing sauce. Like, I swear. Well, everybody love the way I cook my seafood, period. But when they chase my blue crabs, <laughs> they used to call me and be like, Isha, you feel like cooking my blue crabs? Hey, listen. The season of water. That's it. Whatever seasons you like to use, put it in there. Toss it. Let's toss it in there. Make sure you get your crab boil. That's the number one thing. Your crab boil. Mm. I ain't got no lemon, but I don't think I need it. That was good. Mm. I was trying not to put them in the shrimp and stuff in here. I know how I get full quick. And. Oh, Lord. I ate one shrimp. Oh, jeez. Shell. No, no. Mm. Got a bunch of pieces of um crab. Yes, I did put pickled ginger in here. And I actually put a teaspoon of sugar in here. So it kind of blended out the taste. Oh, excuse me now. Excuse me. Mm. Man, oh man. 
This ain't even my regular sauce that I make. I just quickly threw some together. <laughs> And bam. Mm. Give me some minced garlic up in there. I actually put some um a little bit of extra virgin olive oil in here. Honestly. Okay, so I got five shrimp up in this bowl. And Big Daddy. I hope y'all love seeing my baby girl. I just love her. She's on my bed currently. Laying next to my teddy. I am a huge doll collector. Mm. This thing is huge. I think I like it baked first because it's already pre cooked. I sneeze. I, mm -mm. I was thinking about um, doing a video with the huge crab. I'd be wasting money. <laughs> That's two hundred and something dollars. I'd be wasting, literally, because there's no way. Even eating, I think I had like three legs. Um, they gave me a claw. I picked out a claw and two legs. I'm over it already. <laughs> I can hear my daddy now. Me, just eat it. <laughs> daddy, I'm getting full. My stomach is about to burst over here. It's already rounding now. That all you need is one of these pieces. What I just had. You be full. Okay. And then I have the audacity to cook super colossal shrimp. I'm glad I ain't got the mega prongs. Because there is no way. There is no way. I got five shrimp left. Well, Y'all know what I'm gonna do. Save it from Mysteria. She in there napping for work. I congratulate her and anybody else that's in the healthcare field, um, working in them stores, fast food restaurants that's out, you know, to the public every day, just you know, continuing to work and you know, being able to have their places open so we can get food so we can get health care you know if we need it health aid um because this is we're in tough times we're really tough times um i can't tell them i would never tell somebody how to feel i would never tell somebody how to react to a situation all i can say is pray because these are definitely the times that you really need to keep your faith tight with god this is really the time that we really need to get down on our knees. Oh, excuse me. Put our hands together and pray. 
because I've seen videos after videos with people devastated and scared and crying because they never seen so many people, you know, passing or sick from this illness. And, you know, you really got to pray. This isn't the first time something like this happened. And I pray that it's not, that it's the last. But in this time... We got to pray. We got to stay strong. We got to keep our faith. Trust in God. That's what you need. Pray for your loved ones, you know, if they're having health issues or, you know, going through a struggle or are, you know, obviously it's no age limit. Um, I just hope that you guys stay strong, stay prayed up. And just remember that God is there. He is not going to let us down. He's not leaving our side. You know, when you pray, pray in silence. Have your conversation with God. Because Satan can hear you when you're praying out loud. But when you having your, you know, um, silent prayer with God, only God can read your mind and your heart. Satan doesn't have that advance. So you'll see a lot of changes when you pray in silence to him. God then praying out loud to where Satan can hear your prayers and twist it and make it seem like, you know, oh, look what's happened. God gave you this and it, you know what I mean? Like he can, he do those things. Keep your faith. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys um, being here with me. We're going to do this together. We're going to do this together. Social distancing, continuing to wash our hands you know, praying for each other. We got this. We got this, y'all. Um, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Show your girls some love. Share the video. Um, I'm going to try to keep more coming. Um, I ain't doing nothing else. We ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> it's, you got to make yourself laugh. So laughter is really needed. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned. Peace. Love you. Bye.